This is the back of my sweater. I'm gonna I did six rows of garter stitch. Did the purple to six rows of waist yarn. Then I did this side and I attached it. Did the seam as you go. I'll show you how to do that again in a moment. And I did a two rows too many, so I'll remove that when I go to add when I go to seam the front to the back. Now I'm gonna make the front and for the front we're gonna do cast on and I need 26 stitches for my cast on. As you can see I've got my needles numbered so that's 10, 26. Now this is a closed cast on that I'm gonna be doing. Let's see if we can get you to see this what I'm doing here. And I will try to keep my hands out of the way. I put I make a slip knot, which is just a, a loop. Pull the loop through it. And pull it tight. Put that loop on my latch end of my tool and pull it. You want a little bit of a leeway between right here and here. You can see a little bit of space. Now holding my tail, I put my latch tool between my last needle and my next to last needle and I grab a thread holding down the tail and pulling it through. Grab the thread, pull it through. And do this all the way, keeping the needle in between my loops. It's also called a crocheted cast on. If you're more comfortable with a crochet hook, you can certainly use it. But I do a lot of crocheting, but I prefer this because it actually grabs the yarn and the, the hook doesn't get caught on the thread. And I do 26 needles. When I get to the last needle, I just loop it onto it. Okay, bring all my needles forward. Make sure all my work is just behind my latches. I make sure all my latches are open. Well, that's and I locate my cast on comb, which I'm using, as I said earlier, a homemade one. Excuse me, I had the purple wrapped up into it. Get that out of the way. Now, I obviously need a larger one. So, what I'm gonna do, now this is a homemade one, they're paper clips sandwich into be in between some polymer clay. I am going to put my put it on there, making sure I don't get any of my paper clips wrapped over my needles, which I have been known to do. Now, need a little bit of weight there, so I'm taking my old one, which I had for the front, and just hooking it onto it. So I have the weights on it, without having to feed my combs Okay, push my work back. This is my garter bar that I'll be showing you how I use. I make sure all my needles, latches are open. And I knit one row slowly. Now I'm kind of wiggling it a little bit. And I'm going across the row slow because it's got to go over those paper clips. And then I look, make sure everything is <coughs> in place. And then I bring out my cast, my homemade garter bar. And unfortunately, 
See, I have a clip and that lets me use my garter bar with ease. Unfortunately, my stick is not long enough. So I'm going to try it with this metal ruler. And what I do is I line it up even and then I push it up a little bit. What I'm basically creating is a ridge. You can kind of see where the shine is. About that much. Because you want to be able to use the bar and then I take my my document clips. I use them for everything. And I clip my ruler to the work. And now I take the thread off of the carriage, bring my carriage over to my left hand side, ah, excuse me, right hand side. Sometimes I don't know my left and my right. And I use my other, see this one bolts together like that. So you can see the bolt, so it's Looks pretty good. So I push it forward, making sure my needle's going into my the bobby pins, the hair pins rather. Oops. I have a drop needle. So before I go any further, I really don't want to lose it. I'm going to go ahead and put that back on my thing. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's put that up that way, and let's get them transferred, and then I'll show you how to use the Jagarta bar. So I'm going to do a couple things on this. You'll learn how to do, make a sweater. Okay, on. You can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm pushing the nubs of my needles back so that it pulls the work off of the needles and pushes them onto the garter bar. And I have that wrong. <laughs> this bar is supposed to be between, supposed to be on this side of it. But it, it, if you get the first one wrong, it's easier to fix before you take it off. Just push it up. It doesn't have to be up very far. It's mainly just enough to get the needles in. And just reclip it. Just a little bit and pull it out. Make sure all the latches are open. Take the needles off of it. Okay, and then I rotate my work. Yeah, it looks a mess, but it works. Slide my carriage out of the way. Make sure all my work is, my needles are even. I use my other, cast on the other garter bar. And what I'm doing, so I'm gonna try to stop what I'm doing here and show you. I wanna get it on, you can, I'm lining up to hit the tilt of the needle with the inside of the stitch. See, and I did not line that one up. Let's see how close can I get so you can see that. Let's see. Let's see how well this can focus in for me. Not very. That's about as close as I can get, so you can see what I'm doing. Now I have a loose stitch here. So I need to put this onto the needle, which is fairly easy to do at this point. Okay, and then I make sure all my So you can pull it forward and see they're all behind it. And I just push down on my. All right, I have a piece that doesn't want to cooperate. 
There we go. Yep. Yeah, this one right here. You can't see it right this minute. Sinks. It's caught behind it. Easiest way to fix that. Push this back. Release that. Push the needle. So it frees it. And then go and grab it. Take it off. I'm sorry, it's kind of at the top of the thing. Push the needle out. And take the gutter bar off. I'll work on centering that. I'm kind of in the middle of it all. Okay, and that is one row of the garter stitch. Okay. And I want six of that. So I walk the row. I take the yarn off the carriage, bring the carriage back to the right. When you're doing the garter, it's always to the right. Now, this is what I did wrong before. The ruler was in front. You want to flip it so that the ruler is behind. So push the work onto the garter bar. And the easiest way is push it out just a little bit. Push the needles out just so that they're even with the edge of the bed. Line your bar up with the needle. See right through here. And then just pull back here, pull the needles forward so that all the stitches are behind the latches, then using the bar or a straight edge ruler, anything with a little bit of stability, and then just push them off. You may have to push them by hand, which you'll see my hand in just a second what it's doing. Then once it's all off, give it a little tug, push so that all the latches are open. If it misses, it's easy to repair it afterwards. Flip your work. Line up your needles. Now let's see if we can get close enough here. Unfortunately, it's as close as I can get it. You want to make sure that you have a little bit of a space. And also that the needle can go get into the work, the loop. Okay, I've got the work. Like it's, it's just like a stopper. I'm lining up so that all my needles are coming through the loop. Give a little bit of a push. And then I'm leaning the work forward. And then pulling the garter bar out. Okay, that is two. Pushing the work back, 